The prehistoric man lived for millions of years as a nomad. His community survived by hunting and collecting fruit and roots. That is why men lived in constant migrations in search of food. But a revolution was about to start, which would forever change this old way of life. This revolution happened with the mastery of agricultural techniques. Man learned how to sow the land and reap the fruit of his work. This new habit allowed man to gradually settle down on his piece of land, leaving his nomadic ways behind. The first villages began to emerge near the floodplains of the rivers as these were the most fertile land. Since most places where man settled down were not adequate to grow food throughout the year, man began to give preference to the cultivation of cereals which, besides their nutritional value, could be stored for longer periods. However, some of these cereals were often attacked by pests and rodents. During that same historical period, man developed the ability to domesticate animals as well. The dog was one of the first to be domesticated, as it would be used as a working animal, helping to safeguard communities while engaging in hunting and livestock-related activities. Some basic requirements had to be fulfilled before an animal could be considered domesticated. It could not compete with humans for food. Therefore, animals that fed on grazing or leftovers would be the ideal option. Ideally, these animals could not feel panic easily. However, if that was not possible, they would have to behave like a pack when frightened. By forming large groups, they would be more easily controlled by their owners and their herding dogs. These animals were domesticated in order to provide food for men, having also to reach their adulthood rapidly, thus increasing their productivity. Both agriculture and livestock served other purposes besides food. The animal's leather was used for several different purposes, both for clothing and the production of other items. And animals, like sheep, besides providing meat and milk, also supplied their wool, vegetables, like flax and cotton, were also grown to serve as fabric. These small villages started to produce surpluses, trading and exchanging their products with other villages. Commerce began to slowly emerge, getting increasingly common over time. The mastery of these technologies created the basic conditions for the emergence of the first cities.